With this puzzle, you want to press all of the symbols in the proper order. I think the order is supposed to be right to left, as opposed to left to right, which kind of makes it difficult to figure out, yeah. So it's a guide to, to the Treant, and apparently Mathild is the one who knows what to do, so we're, we're gonna go to Mathild here. Do I have any items? I don't really have any items. I, I was kind of hoping maybe I had some new items, I could solve puzzles in Mathild's area. Doesn't look like that's the case. What do we have here? A code! Magic's in the code! I've got a book. And it looks like she's rhyming things. Okay, so this is a hidden objects challenge. I haven't seen one of those in a while. Um, yeah, you're just supposed to find parts of books. Oh, joy. That looks like it. Oh, here. That looks like one, too. Alrighty. Started off difficult. Looks like it's getting a bit easier as time goes on. I'm... Aha! Found it. I, I'm having difficulty with this. Do, 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 do. Music? Okay, there we go. I'm sure eventually it will cut down from having four things at the bottom to only three, but that doesn't appear to be the case quite yet. Okay, there we go. Now it's finally cut down to three. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. So, the final one looks like it's near a ring of some sort. There. So, the Fae Recipe Book. Here you go, lady. The Fairy Book, which have as a recipe to wake up the tree. Awake, think of the knowledge you know, so you need the ingredients, and I have some except funnels. Know anyone with funnels? No. The hint at the top of the screen says who else is nearby, so maybe we can get funnels from the old guy here. Now you need funnels! Try this one out! Oh, it's somewhere in this box, eh? What's a funnel? Well, I know what a funnel is. Okay, is that enough? Four. Four funnels. Okay, so let's give them to Mathild. Okay, I have the funnels. Huh. Oh, okay, so I'm supposed to look here and then use the funnels? go. So, we need to read the book. So it looks like broccoli. Did that work? Broccoli. And some red stuff. Okay. I have no idea how this is working. White stuff over broccoli. And then pine cone. Okay, well it looks like I can only put certain things in certain certain places. So let's just do the strategy of I'll try to put everything everywhere. Alrighty, now let's just try to get this stuff everywhere. Okay. Now I have powders for the Treant. Wake him up, but remember this. Mortals that fight the shade turn out like me. Invisible and unlucky. Good luck, my only friend. Thanks for the pep talk, lady. I 
need to apply the correct powder to different parts of the trayons. Okay, so that looked like it was green, and it looks like its mouth is going to be yellow. And then green, green is also going to be these, these roots here, it looks like. There we go! Trayant Awaken! Yeah, this place looks nice. Girl, water. Here's your water, you greedy tree. Much better, a mortal waking me up. What year is it? Oh, this air smells terrible. You make it so easy for the shade to succeed. Yes, the shade. That is his eternal winter, a world where nature withers and everything's frozen with dark magic and ice. If you want to stop it, you must not be afraid. This charm is given to me by a brave girl with a pure heart. Return it to the locket, and I'll tell you to the secret. Now, right halfway through the locket. More than halfway. We've only got two left. Fiona and her family are not the only mortals with magic. The shade has gone after them, one by one. While the shade cannot be defeated, it can be contained. Fiona's family was close to finding a way. Finish what they started, and you can save the girl. But be warned, the shade will come for you too, just like he did for them. Chapter 5, Sanctuary. So, Garden Patch. I think I could dig this up with the right equipment, and I found one metal piece. There's another metal piece. So we should be able to yank this out with some leverage, right? Wood has begun to rot, but the carvings are still beautiful. Lots of strange symbols, and it looks like we've got two houses. Let's try the house on the right. More metal pieces. This poor garden gnome has lost his head. That's, that's just tragic. That's almost as frightening as a real garden gnome. The knot is too tight for me to undo. We'll just cut it. Okay, so now I have a rope with a hook. Perfect. Now I can break in somewhere, I suppose. Who lives here and where could the key have gone? Don't know. So let's go over here. This is a well. There's probably water down there. Another gnomeless garden gnome. I mean, headless garden gnome. How tragic. A crumbling mosaic. An old tool shed. I bet that's what these metal pieces I'm finding are for. That that tool shed. Chapel door. It looks like shapes are missing from the relief. Flowers are almost ready to bloom, so I bet I'll use them. Um, what do you call it? I'll get water and use it to open up those uh, those blooming flowers. The sun just melted the, the... Okay. Okay, so it's a hidden objects challenge. I haven't seen one of those in a while. Now we need to find matching things again. Ooh, I did not do so well with this last time. Let's see, nails. Nails go with a hammer. That's easy. A hat and a, a, a matching thing. A bucket and a paintbrush. That's not so bad. A baseball and a baseball glove. Magician and a magician's hat. That and something that needs to be inflated. So what? What? What gets inflated around bike tires? That's a chess piece. That goes with the chess board. Let's use a hint. Dustpan and a broom. Two more pairs. Fish and a fishing pole. And here's where it just turns into try to find what the last two items are that you can interact with. 
because they by default must go together. So, um, yeah, I'll just keep looking. Lantern. Lantern is one of the items. Okay, so I need to find that with whatever goes with the lantern. Probably a candle. I don't see a candle anywhere. Okay. Let's try to use the guide. Guide shows where all the fairies are. Well, that's helpful, but not exactly what I'm doing. There's a gnome head in the chapel door? Huh. Oh, and there's something there, too. Wow, okay. Um, thank you, guide, but I, I'm, I'm trying to solve this, this, this puzzle now. I guess I could try to get the, the gnome head here. Gnome head here, and there is something here, so let's use a knife. Shovel handle. Didn't I see a shovel earlier? A shovel which desperately needed a handle. Okay, I've already found that, but, I mean, what's the thing it matches with? Hint! Thumbs down. Not a very useful hint. Okay, anywhere, let's, let's give this guy... What? It just moved. I'm alive! Thank you! The shade flew over us and tried to have us destroy the world. I'm a protector. And I got killed. Drat, my brother, where is he? Have you seen him? He wanders off. Meanwhile, I have to stay here and guard the chapel. Okay, I'll find your other brother. Your other brother seems to have lost his head. I mean, your brother's lost his head. I'm sorry, buddy. It'd be nice to take a break and sit down. Oh, who am I kidding? I have to work. Let's see, I'm just digging here. Maybe I'll find something. Aha! Aha! That's... That's another thing I'm digging. I can't dig past that. Okay, I've dug up everything. I've got a saw and a file. This piece of awning seems weaker, but the saw is very blunt, so I'm gonna have to sharpen it with a whetstone or a rock or something like that. I can still look at this tree stump, eh? Huh, I wonder wonder why. Okay, so this time I highlight this ahead of time and then I use my hint. Really? Okay, so the candle was invisible. Invisible. A vice used to hold something in place. I know what a vice is. Is this a whetstone? Yeah, that'll work. Wait. I'm using a file to fix the saw. Aww. <laughs> I've never seen that before. Okay, that gives me a stick of wood. I, I, I have no idea what I'll use a stick of wood for. Oh my. Okay, so you need to use it with the. S Wait. Go back to the well. Use the stick of wood as a hook. is secured. Is there some way to bring it up? I have a handle. Hmm, something's inside. It's a butterfly. No, it's a mosaic. And cold water from the well. Can I, can I actually grab it, or am I just using the pitcher? I'm using the pitcher. So a mosaic here, obviously, for a jigsaw puzzle. I haven't seen one of those in a while. Oh man, this is tough. I've got so many things on screen, I can't actually see what I'm doing. 
Okay, let's move some of these things around. Yeah, maybe just use a hint there to help out just, just a tad. Maybe if I move most of these things to the left? Yeah, that might help. Okay. So where could this thing? This thing goes there. These look like random. Oh, ooh, it looks like the gnome. And I'm guessing... Yeah, I'm guessing the fluffy clouds all fit together perfectly. But, but, where does anything else fit? This, this goes here? Okay. Okay, where are one of those spiky plants? That's, that's not it. Is it this? A spiky flower, perhaps? And now for a piece with an edge that looks like it fits in there. Ooh, maybe this is it. Nope, that's not it. Yeah, this... This puzzle's just a killer. Especially because I have no idea what I'm forming a picture of yet. Maybe the gnome... Gnome's head goes here, like, that would make some sense. And then this would be the gnome's body. And these would be up here. Oh, good, finally. <laughs> finally, pieces fitting together and making sense. This is a giant piece in the upper left. I have no idea where this piece... No idea where that piece goes. Is there another piece I missed? Okay, so two pieces there. That is a rough, rough puzzle. And this shows where the door's missing shapes are. Okay, so... It does? Oh no, that shows where things are supposed to go here. So water there. As I guessed, that gives me give me gives me pieces for that. A crate. Well, can I saw it open? I just can. I just can look at it. Okay. Okay, gnome. Here you go. Where am I? Where's my brother? If I don't return this feather to him, he'll come after me, like my shade, like the shade did. Okay, I have to return the feather to the other gnome. I'm a gnome delivery person. My feather! You saved my brother as well? I guess you get help. Here you can enter the chapel now, but be careful! According to the mosaic, I can carve a shape out of the tree strum stump. I don't remember seeing that in the mosaic, but let's go with it. Do I saw it? I don't know what pattern. Well, I have a pattern here. I just need to follow the pattern. Okay. Cut, 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 cut. Yay! Finish all the drawing games without mistakes. Wait, I didn't make any mistakes there? Those look like mistakes. That looked like lots of them. Okay, so the figurines I need, okay. I've got one from that guy, two from the flowers, one from the stump. So two are going to be up here on the top in like a tree. So the two I'm missing are going to be up, up in a tree, perhaps.
where is that tree going to be? I, I, I have no idea what I'm doing now. I'll just use a hint once the hint reappears. I kind of feel like I should be going inside this house. But, 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 the house. Oh, I'm looking at this thing. Okay, do I cut these out with a saw? That's not exactly a tree. In fact, that's not a tree at all. Either way, puzzle. So the symbols correspond... Okay... So I want to rotate it so all the symbols are good. So where are the six things? I only see like four things that I can press. There we go, those are the six things I need to press. And once you get a thing into place... It shines up beautifully. Okay, so I've got the lower left one in place, and this upper, upper left one in place. There we go. Let's see what's inside this chapel. All I see is shadow. Ooh, and a fairy thing. I'm gonna crane, I bet that... I, I bet that will let me open up that, um, bro... I mean, it's a crowbar. I bet that will help me open up... Oh, no! What? Who makes a stained glass out of the shade? Ugh. I need to get rid of the shadow. Anyway, I bet that helps me open up this. Now I have a crate and two stones. And no idea what I'm doing here. I need stones for this? I think I can etch blank stones. What would I etch, though? So you always want a triangle of those stones touching fire. Okay, so each group of eight must look like that. Okay, well that... That seems easy enough. Let me try it again here with the bottom left. Okay, that seems to have worked. Let's try the upper... upper right. So those three are always forming a triangle. There we go. And the triangle here is going to have to be... like that. And this final thing is this triangle missing uh, this symbol. All right, and a fairy statue. We've always fought against him whenever the shade appears. Something's wrong with these weapon designs. <laughs> Okay. So it looks like when you get a piece in the right spot, you can't move it anymore. Oh, and now I get to move the uh the middle parts of weapons. Yeah, okay. So when you get a piece in the right spot, you can't move it anymore, and it looks like left-hand pieces always must be swapped with left-hand pieces. There we go. So the inscription says, Our struggles taught us that only the Fae can sear the shade. Mortal weapons fail. This stained glass is dead. Um, yeah... Are we gonna have to fix it? We are, oh no. And what's this? An old candle box that we can put a coin inside of. And this looks like a corpse. Yeah. Uh, oh, and 
went ahead and objects challenge. I haven't seen one of those in a while. Perhaps I can find a clue as to what happened here. Well, I think the guy was killed. I think that's pretty obvious. Unlike the earlier hidden objects challenge, items do not disappear once you um, find them on the list. They just stay on the list. Okay, so I need a hat. And I need a necklace. So I got blueprints. And this is Fiona's father. Okay, tragic. Looks like he was just murdered. Poor fellow. Poor fellow. And I'll be using the key over here, right? To get inside. Yeah. Okay, so I'm in the cottage. Cottage. We've got a work table. There's nothing to foil. The blueprint is incomplete. Well, here's... Okay. I need to use the carper foil for... Okay, so I need to find all the... Same glass pieces, apparently. It's still full. Okay, so that's that's good gasoline. A part of this is covered up here. I'll fill the oil thing. So I need to find the cover for that. The hinges are creaky. Okay, let's oil the hinges. Can't I just open the door even if the hinges make noise? This looks like the top of the toolbox. This looks like a puzzle. Okay, so we want to move symbols around. And this is one of those puzzles where if you put a piece in the right spot, it does not. It does not do anything for you. Okay, so... Z? ZCHD, so it's like, okay, ZCHD, that's how that works. And then this is going to be... Why? Those are not those symbols at all. That's not good. Okay, well, let's do the ones I can do. I don't see that symbol anywhere. Unless it's that symbol rotated? No, it's not. Wait, can I just, like, swap pieces like this? Yes, I can. Okay. Because this is going to have to be the green... Green C. Okay, so you're gonna color code these pieces. That... that helps. Okay, so that helps. Alright, that works. Here, we're going to have... Symbols in that order, and for here we want those symbols. Giving me what, a glass cutter? A glass cutter and no other tools. Okay, so let's work at the work table. There's nothing to foil. So how do I solve this puzzle? Enough space to cut glass in. I could use the- I need to use the copper foil first. Wait, so I'm just using the glass cutter and clicking on the dark line? Okay. I had no idea stained glass worked like that. That it magically changed color, yeah. Better consult the guide to figure out what to do next. I'd better consult the guide. What, what, this guy? No, 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 I was just talking about some other guide. Okay, so we'll solve this puzzle in the next video.